on the ice. Going fast is awesome. Aaron Jackson has historic momentum. Gaining confidence, I guess. She started on wheels, inline skating. In 2017, switched to speed skating on ice. Felt like, oh, this is strange. Like, <laughs> I don't really feel like I fit in here. I don't know what I'm doing. After just four months learning the ice, she became the first black American woman to compete at the Olympics in long track speed skating. Felt like I didn't even know how to skate yet, like on ice. Um, I think I read an article that someone wrote during the Olympics and they were like, oh, we can tell she's new because uh, she can barely get on and off the ice or come to a stop to talk to her coach. And I was like, yeah, that's true. Four years later, she's in a different place and racing towards her second Olympics, setting the pace and leading the way for other young black athletes looking to compete at the Winter Games. It would be really nice if these headlines weren't a thing, like first this, first that. Like it would be nice if it was just kind of commonplace, you know, but it's not, so here we are. And I mean, if I'm the person to break the barriers, you know, that's fine. And despite the pandemic, with others around her getting COVID that kept her from training and a bungee cord accident that damaged her eye. The hook became stuck in my eye and I had to go to the hospital and everything and it was really painful and I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep the eye or not. But, you know, skip to the end, I've got my eye. Erin is healed up and back on the track. This season, becoming the first black American woman to win gold in a World Cup speed skating event. Then won gold two more times. She is keeping that momentum, racing towards a historic Olympics in Beijing. Looking to be a medal contender for the games.